Welcome to Extend Office channel. We provide useful tips and tricks for Microsoft Office. In this video, you will learn how to shade the area between two lines in a line chart in Excel. Two methods are provided in this video to help color the area between two lines in a line chart. Method 1 Handle the task with helper columns. Method 2 Handle the task with a handy tool. Let's get started. Normally, when you create a line chart for two data sets, you will get two lines in the chart to represent different data sets. To shade the area between these two lines in the chart, you can now start with the first method. If you have already created a normal line chart, remove it from the worksheet. Now you need to create two helper columns next to the original data. Provide a header for the first helper column. In the cell below the header cell, enter an equal sign, and then reference the cell of the first data set. Select the formula cell, and drag its autofill handle down to get all data. Provide a header for the second helper column. Select the cell under the header. Enter an equal sign and apply C2 minus B2. Select this formula cell and drag its autofill handle down to get the rest of the data. Now it's time to create a line chart. Select the whole data range, including the helper columns. Go to the Insert tab, find the Charts group, and then insert a line chart. You can see that the line chart shows three data lines. Right click on any line in the chart, and then select Change Series Chart Type in the right clicking menu. In the Change Chart Type dialog box, change the chart type of the two helper column series to Stacked Area. Click the OK button to save the changes. Now, the line chart is filled with different colors. Select the largest highlighted area in the chart. Go to the Format tab, click Shape Fill, choose No Fill to remove the fill color in this area. The area between the two lines is now highlighted. Let's decorate the chart. Here I select the whole legend, press the Delete key to remove it from the chart. Modify the chart title. And then add the series names to the lines in the chart. Click twice on a data point to select only that data point in the line. Go to the chart elements icon, click data labels, then click more options. In the opening format data label pane, check the series name box and uncheck the value and show leader lines boxes. The series name is now added as a data point in the line. Now change the font color and the font size of the series name if you need. Here I change the font color of the series name to the same color as the line. Repeat the same steps to add a series name for another line. After adding the series name, adjust the position and change the font color and the font size. You can also change the fill color between the two lines if you need. Now we have finished all the steps in method 1. Let's start the method 2. In this method, we recommend you to use QTools for Excel to easily solve this problem. If you have QTools for Excel installed, select the whole data range. Go to the QTools tab, click Charts, go to the Difference Comparison group, and then click Difference Area Chart. In the Difference Area Chart dialog box, you can see that the fields are automatically filled with corresponding cell references. 
Click the OK button. Then, the chart is created. You can change the fill color between the two lines if you need. This ends the method 2. Thanks for watching.